Welcome back to the News at 6. On this Valentine's Day, some of you at home will be lucky enough to receive a beautiful bouquet of flowers today. A popular choice mm -hmm. for many, of course, is roses. But the journey of those flowers isn't as simple as just from the flower shop to your loved one's hand. MTN's Phoenix O'Connor reports. Westmont Flower and Trading Company in Helena has been quite busy the last week. Workers have been removing thorns and cutting stems to size, all to fill hundreds of orders for Valentine's Day. Each order is made with love and offers a purposeful job for individuals with disabilities. You see them walk to a door with an arrangement and somebody excited to get flowers, which everybody is. Um, that really completes the process and when they the client comes back to the car with a huge smile and they're just completely proud of what they did and what they helped put together. You know, that's pretty special. This is just one rose of 10,000 roses that was shipped internationally to Westmont and each rose is going to be made into a unique, beautiful arrangement. According to Society of American Florists, it's estimated that more than 250 million roses are produced for Valentine's Day. For Montana, being that February is during the winter months, that in itself can have its fair share of challenges. Two things, probably weather and transportation, especially in Helena, we were limited as far as flights. Most of our product comes in via airlines. It takes multiple flights to deliver 10,000 roses to the capital city. And think about that, because those roses are grown in Ecuador or Colombia or Guatemala. The flowers just like any other imported item, must go through the United States Custom and Border Protection before reaching the flower shop. They'll be inspected for everything from smuggled drugs, dangerous or invasive insects. And when it comes to sales, Farrell says not every Valentine's Day year brings in the cash at the register. Depends on the day of the week that the love day falls on. Ironically, Valentine's Day is a big flower day for men to buy flowers. Uh, and they really like the effect of having flowers delivered to their wife or their girlfriend's office, the wow effect. So that doesn't happen, obviously, if you have a Saturday or a Sunday. For MTN News, I'm Phoenix O'Connor. Now, mothers, lock up your daughters. It's Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenitz. <laughs> yeah, watch out on the roads out there between Browning and East Glacier.